You are in control. But change will not happen. It cannot happen until you make a decision, until your ass hits the ground and you say, I am ready for a new life, a new day. when I was young, I used to talk to this girl and her mother, you know, her mother used to just always have me dying. Like I'd be sitting there and, and you know, her mother be yapping away on the phone and she'd be, you know what? His ass just got to hit the ground or her ass just got to hit the ground, girl. And I would be sitting there chuckling because it was so funny, that little statement or that little whatever, that phrase was so funny to me. But translated in real life terms, it just means the person got to hit rock bottom. And when you really sit and think about it, you know, it's true. We as human beings, we give way too much credit, way too, we, we, we really give away our control to, you know, whatever the circumstances that we're going through. But in reality, we're in control. Every decision or most decisions in all of our lives, we can make. You know, when we're done with something, when we've had enough, when our ass has hit the ground and we are truly ready for change, we make change. But people really become hostages and they really become prisoners to their circumstances and feel as though, you know what? I am a victim. I am being held here against my will. And I'm telling you guys, no matter what your situation is. You're not. You are a change away from a new life. You are one decision away, just one decision that spells change and can really get you on the path to something new, no matter what it is. How many times have we seen people who have dated the same bad for them individual again and again and again. You know, just different names, but it's really the same person that they are keep repeating, keep repeating. But at the end, when, you know, when they're behind hits the ground, when they are tired of going through Groundhog Day just with different people, different names, finally, when they say, you know what, I've had enough. I want to try something different. I've been going after this type of man or this type of female for so many years, it is not working out. Let me try something new. And that change, that decision marks a new life. You know, I'm from the South Bronx. Me, like so many of you guys, we witness people who are strung out on drugs and, and, and at least have, you know, tried drugs. But for some people, they're like, you know what? I tried this, I don't like it. I had a bad trip, I, 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 I was paranoid, whatever it might have been, and that is it. They had they asked and hit the ground right there. But for other people, they become addicts. For other people, it is like night of the living dead, and they cannot seem to break that habit. But one thing that I do know, and I give you know all you know respect and, and, and total understanding and empathy to people who are addicts, but Having been around so many people like that, they all have something in common. I don't care how many times their family pushes them to go to treat to treatment, how many times, you know, people try to get them to change their ways. It is always up to them. And usually they will be the first one to tell you, you know what? I've just had enough. I'm tired. You know, I know y'all have been trying to get me to change for years, but now I'm tired and I'm ready to go to this treatment facility. One decision away, one decision, that the, the power of that decision, we have to take the power back. The circumstances that we're in, we have to stop giving it that much power and control over our lives. Because in essence, it is us. It is our decision making. You know, so many people that sitting at, at, at that job that they just can't stand. They, they, they can't stand it. It is the worst eight hours of their life. But they go in and they complain every day. They don't want to be there. Okay. Make a change. Make a decision. You're in control. 
do what is necessary to leave that place of employment and find a new place of employment. But instead, we act like we have a gun to our head. I have, to, and I get it, we all have to make money. But you can take the necessary steps to get other employment. And this can go in every area of our life. It doesn't matter. You know, I have a brother who smoked cigarettes for years. And I remember getting in the car with this dude and just be like, yo, come on, man, stop with that smoking. Couldn't stop. And then one day the boy just wakes up and he's just stopped smoking. And I asked him, I was just like, yo, you know, you have been smoking, hollering about, you know, you're addicted and, and, and needed a patch and chewing gum and all this stuff for years. What changed? And he was like, I woke up and I just didn't want to smoke no more. And I'm like, huh? He's like, yo, I just didn't want it no more. I didn't have a taste for it. I was tired of it. And he was, now, for him, maybe that is, is what it took. He just was tired. For some people, maybe they need treatment, but it always comes down to a decision. But that decision is based around your ass sometimes just got to hit the ground. So if you're in a career that is dead, if you're at a job that you just can't stand, if you are in a relationship that is sucking the life out of you, if you want to go back to school, if whatever your if is, you are in control. But change will not happen. It cannot happen until you make a decision, until your ass hits the ground and you say, I am ready for a new life, a new day. Think about it. Peace and love make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.